Hello, it's Christina and today I'm back with a new makeup tutorial. This look was inspired by Ailey's new comeback song, Mind Your Own Business. Before we start the exciting part of this tutorial, I'm just going to conceal my face using my favorite concealer, using my fingertips, and then I'm just going to be using an air puff to pat everything down so it settles into my skin. Because this makeup look focuses so much on the eyes, we can't forget to frame the face so I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows using a dark brown brow gel and I'm just going to follow the natural shape of my eyebrows. Now using this adorable panda eye brightening from Tony Moly, I am going to apply these all around my eyes and as you can tell, this really does brighten up the eye area, making it a really good base to continue on with the eye look. Using my trusty old black gel liner and an angled brush, I am going to tightline my upper waterline. Now this is where the fun begins. Just grab any white pencil liner that you have and I'm just gonna trace the outline of where I want the yellow and orange colors to go so that it also creates a nice base for the colors to be more vibrant and more pigmented. For this makeup look you'll only need two colors which are yellow and orange so I'm just gonna be starting with the lightest color first and using that I'm just outlining where I want that yellow color to be at. And then using a really bold yellow eyeshadow I'm going to pat that onto the yellow liner that I drew on before to deepen the colors and to make the yellow pop even more. Now I wasn't able to find a red gel pencil liner so I decided to use a lip liner instead. So I'm just going to use that color to fill in the white areas that I left behind. But be very careful when you create that wing liner because you want it to be really thin and very sharp. Now because we want the color to be more orange than red, I'm going to be using this orange eyeshadow and I'm just going to be patting it down where I applied that lip liner earlier. But be very careful when you're applying these because you don't want to mix the yellow and the orange together. We want the two colors to be separate but to complement each other at the same time. Now going back with that yellow pencil liner from earlier, I'm just filling in the small details that I missed before. Then using a black felt tip liner, I'm just going to extend a little bit of the wing liner so my eye looks more elongated. And to bring more definition to my eyes, I'm going to line my lower waterline in the outer and inner corners. Now this is my attempt of applying falsies. This was my very first time doing so. And I would think that I did a pretty decent job on it. I just decided to use some natural falsies just to give a little bit more to the eyes. Now using a black gel liner, I'm just filling in the gap between my real lashes and the falsies. Now I'm just gonna curl my lashes to make sure that my real lashes and the falsies are well blended together. Using my favorite mascara, I'm just going to be applying it to both my upper and lower lashes to make the eye look complete. I'm pretty sure you noticed by now that I didn't apply any foundation or face makeup before. But I did that on purpose because I had a lot of eyeshadow fallout 
while doing my eye makeup so now is the time to really clean up the face and make a really clean canvas. To give my face more definition, I'm going to be contouring along the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline, as well as my hairline. And also to give the illusion of having a higher nose bridge, I'm going to contour my nose as well. And to blend out the color, I'll just be using a flat foundation brush. This makeup look focuses a lot on orange and yellow, so for the blush, of course, we're gonna go with an orange toned blush. For the lips, I'm gonna be using this really bold orange lipstick. First, I'm gonna be applying it in layers using a lip brush, and then I'll just be blending out the colors, and towards the end, that's when I will use from the bullet directly, so the color is more vibrant and more pigmented. And finally, to give the lips more shine, I'll be using this pink lip gloss on top of that orange lipstick. And with that, this makeup look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!